All right, so today's uh, reading, we're talking about um, some examples of what some companies went through as far as implementing the Toyota way. A large mining company wanted to lean as part of a broader transformation process and claimed they wanted Toyota's culture. It took about one year to do the planning and to get the buy-in, and now they were anxious to get, get going. We explained that culture change is only possible by doing actual projects at the Gamba, where the work is done. We suggested these projects would have, have to be started at first in a single mine designated as a model for learning and engage the people directly involved with the mine's operations. The primary purpose of the Lean Transformation Project was to get the people and managers mine at the mine thinking and acting in a lean mindset. The business metrics would follow. This is the inch wide and mile deep approach. Once this model mine had gained sufficient traction, the learning would be systematically spread throughout the rest of the company. They were obviously not too happy with the focus on one mine rather than blasting lean across the enterprise, but went along with our recommendation. After two months, they wanted to know when the results would come in, but we suggested it would take a little more time. In the meantime, they had contracted another consultant and started to work on the other mines that they did not want to wait for the, for our experiment. After six months of work and some notable progress, highest tons delivered in its history, improved uptimes, etc., the initiative started receiving heavy, heavy criticism from the corporate office. The corporate office was continually asking for detailed PowerPoint presentations and digital photos that could be sent back to headquarters documenting the culture change, and they were not seeing enough reports from consultants. When the corporate managers were invited into the site for a go and see, they spent less than a day reviewing the various projects while sitting in a conference room and, and no time at all at the Gamba or with leadership at the mine. The consultants were puzzled at how they can observe culture change from an air-conditioned conference room with almost no interaction from the site. Shortly thereafter, the consultants were fired and a new consulting group was brought in. The group was excellent at PowerPoint presentations and gave corporate managers everything they wanted namely the ability to monitor progress with ever leaving the comfort of their own offices hundreds of miles away. Instead of working with the leadership team on the, in, in, on the importance of the true problem solving and people development, the new approach focused on rolling out 5S in all areas, effectively transitioning to an inch deep and a mile wide approach. The pilot mine continued on its own and used its own money to sponsor Likers Consultant for six months and continued to grow its new culture and break the performance records, but was largely ignored as the model for the rest of the company. Okay, so obviously it's a lot about culture and how it's it's not a jump, just the tools like we talked about the last time, it's more of a culture approach and having everything settle in before, we, before it's just changed across. So, okay, I'll talk to you soon.